Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So for today's video, we are going to be sitting down and talking about Essence makeup. And I'm actually really excited because we're going to be taking this video where it's, you know, new first impressions. And we're going to be merging that with some updates from a video that I did about Essence. I want to say maybe three-ish months ago. I can link it up here. And this seems like a video style that you guys really do enjoy. I just did it uh, not too long ago, actually, with higher end makeup, which I can link here, where I went through and I tested out new makeup. But at the same time, I updated you on like the It Cosmetics Foundation the Clinique Concealer, Chantecaille Duo, you know, that sort of stuff. I really like these videos because it's a fun way for me to bring certain products full circle for you guys, like things I haven't updated you on, but I still get to scratch like that new makeup itch. Like I just get to just get in there and just mm, like really, you know, just get after it. But anyways, if all of that sounds good to you and you like Essence, you like affordable, you like drugstore, I mean, maybe you just like 30 year old ladies with opinions, okay? Because trust me, I have several of them, but I do like to pause really quickly and just introduce myself. My name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria and I put up three new videos a week. So so if you haven't subscribed yet, definitely make sure to do that before you leave. And then of course the most important thing, and if you are not new here, you've definitely heard this before, please go over and follow me on Instagram. I would greatly appreciate it. Everything will be linked down below. Um, it's where I'm the most active. It's probably my favorite social platform in general. I definitely like it more than I like Twitter because I post a ton. I do like makeup photos. I do makeup IGTVs. I like plus size fashion. I like funny photos. I love hanging out like in my day to day in the Insta stories, sharing my life with you. And I just feel like those are things <laughs> like I can't, I can't do that. I can't convey that over on Twitter. Anyways, the moral of all of this is I'm trying to get to 10,000 followers. That way I get the swipe up feature. With all that said, done and out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead, zoom the camera in. We're gonna get started and I might have to open this window because it's kind of dark in here now. And I'm gonna have to figure this out. Okay, let's like, <laughs> let's get into it. Let's get into it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm really sorry, but also I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry. Hi, is that, oh, that's very close, isn't it? It's very, very close. Okay. Maybe you should just scooch. Scooch ya dooch, scooch ya cooch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was quite the little snort you have there, ma'am. <laughs> All the better to pig you with. Stop it. All right, so we're good and zoomed in, and I'm going through the collection that I have in front of me for first impressions, and it looks like I have a bunch of stuff that they came out with that's a part of their high beauty line, and this is the line they came out with that's infused with hemp seed oil. But before we get into anything complexion, I actually have two little lip balm products. First up, we have from that high beauty collection, this is the Caring Lip Balm, and it says it has hemp seed oil and plant waxes, and it's regenerating and vegan. On the other side here, I have this adorable little coconut one. This is their Fruit Kiss Caring lip balm with 10% almond oil and I'm assuming this is also just like a regular lip balm so maybe what we'll do is I'll put on this one first because it is a part of that high beauty collection I'm just gonna take and put a little bit of it mm, on my lips Ooh, that feels really nice actually mm. it has a very nice like silky smooth texture it doesn't feel thick or goopy Mm, that feels really, really good. Okay, we're gonna leave that there, see how it feels um, after a little while, and then maybe we'll switch over to the other balm and just test it out. Anyways, getting into primer, I actually have two different options for today's video, and I thought it would be cool to maybe split the face and do one on each side, uh, because we have over here the Hydrating Face Primer, also from that High Beauty collection, but then on the other side here, we have the My Skin Perfector Tinted Primer, and this one says that it gives an instant blur effect, a natural matte finish, and I have it in the shade 05 Fair Neutral. The first one I'm going to go in with is actually the High Beauty Hydrating Face Primer. And I'm taking that just on this side and I'm working it all over, making sure that I really let it, you know, soak into the skin. I really press it into my pores right up here. And on the other side, I'm going to go in with some of the tinted primer, which, oh, there's definitely a color to that. It has a very, very neutral, actually, I would say that's more of like a cool undertone to it. But uh, we're going to take this just on the other side here and work that in, see if I can get any sort of like a um, smoothing effect. In terms of these two primers, like comparing them, the first thing I'm noticing like right off the bat is that the tinted one does have a little bit of a scent to it. Like it's not unpleasant, it's not overbearing in any way, but there is a little bit of a perfumey fragrance to it. Whereas the other one, the one with hemp seed oil, that one didn't have much of any fragrance. It was just a light, more natural kind of smell. And just comparing them texturally, obviously I don't expect them to do the same thing because they're not the same product, but I am crazy impressed with how blurred my pores look right through here, especially like just comparing it across. It's unbelievable. Like it looks so nice and so smooth right through here. 
and like even up onto the side of my nose it's so it's crazy how good it looks I'm actually really impressed now going in with foundation this part was a little bit of a conundrum for me because normally and especially like if you're new here you might not know this but I don't typically like to try a new primer and a new powder and then also try with that a new foundation because then I feel like I don't really have any like frame of reference for how the foundation wears but then I remembered back when I filmed that other essence makeup uh, the video like three months ago I originally had two foundations for that video and I only used the one so I thought for today's video we would introduce and use the other which this is their soft touch mousse makeup and I have it in two different shades I have it in 01 matte sand and 04 matte ivory and I just thought today's video would be a good chance to test these out wow wow wait why that's so dark what shade is this oh honey that is 01 oh no <laughs> oh no that is 01 this is gonna be a problem okay oh very satisfying though oh my god like feeling that texturally ooh, it feels it feels very nice okay so am I the only one noticing that shade four which is right here is like three shades lighter than shade one like what what is happening here is that like an undertone situation because shade one shade four mm, I don't know about that I feel, I feel like we got a we got a situation going on here but anyways I'm just gonna take shade one here and start kind of I guess massaging in like circular motions all over my face there's like what the what what is this what 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 oh god no it's in my hair oh no 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 don't don't you dare get in my hair you little bitch yeah the texture of this is so odd okay so it feels very soft very silky on which i appreciate like i love the texture of it very nice and glidey but at the same time like it's not i feel like it's not hardly doing anything <laughs> like I don't I don't know how to describe it <laughs> by the way change of plans I decided to bring the camera in very close because I really need to like convey this message to you like look at how smooth I feel like my skin looks it looks very like lightly diffused especially when you compare it to this side this just has the hydrating primer on it and so you can see like all of that light that luminosity all my redness is still here versus this side where it's just blurred it has a more matte effect and I feel like like it doesn't it doesn't look like anything special it doesn't even look like a foundation but there is something about it that's working and now just to satisfy my curiosity I'm gonna go in and do this side with a sponge just to see if maybe I don't know maybe maybe you can build coverage or something I really I, I honestly don't know I don't know what to expect over here all I know is that uh, I need to do both sides and see like what what am I doing like what is this capable of it actually does you know distribute really nicely I don't have any issues in that respect but the one thing that I am noticing that's continuing to be a problem you know whether it's with a hand with a sponge whatever is that because of the consistency of this foundation I'm getting a lot of settling like right over here I don't think I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera but I'm getting a lot of settling like into the sides of my nose the pores and it's happening regardless of what primer was underneath and this foundation definitely doesn't um, build on itself either so it's one of those products that you know kind of you get what you get type situation it's not really gonna go very far from there next up I'm just going in with some concealer this is the new Clinique even better concealer which I did do a dedicated review on I will link it up here but I'm just going through and applying this concealer in all the areas that I normally would just to make sure that uh, everything still comes together that we're testing this like a normal foundation and then going in to set the face I actually have two different options I have the high beauty fixing compact powder which this one I believe is more of like an all-over powder and then the other option I have is the my skin perfector loose fixing powder which gives you an instant blur effect with a natural matte finish and I think what I'm gonna do here is actually grab the uh, the loose powder that I have this is in the shade 05 and I want to test that out under the eyes because it is like a brighter yellow shade so I'm just gonna take and repat out that area and then with my sponge here just go in and get it nice and pressed in I'm just taking that same powder and setting down the entire t-zone because it does have a really nice brightening effect you can see like up under my eyes it does look really nice now I am a little bit concerned with this powder the um, the high beauty fixing compact powder because obviously it's you know green I don't know if you noticed and I was a little bit concerned that I was gonna get like a weird hue on my skin but it does say on the back that the green is there to adapt to all skin tones and make Make it a natural transparent finish and so oh see it just doesn't it just look green <laughs> I'm just gonna go in with like a nice big old fluffy brush here and 
and kind of press it all over and hope for the best, you know, <laughs> hopefully I don't have like a Kermit the Frog situation. And then I'm also going to make sure that I grab all of that uh, leftover powder I had on the T-zone under the eyes. Just make sure that I buff everything in. So with everything set down, this is where we're sitting on the skin currently. And I have to say a couple of things. Number one, very grateful that powder, that green one, it didn't leave like any weird, you know, cast, color, tone, nothing like that on my skin. It did melt in very nicely. So that was definitely a big win. And even as far as my skin goes, like right through here on both sides, my cheeks actually do look very nice. They have a smooth effect and they have a nice like light medium coverage. From there, let's go ahead and continue on with some complexion and get into the first update. And that would actually be this matte bronzing powder palette, um, obviously from Essence. And this is a palette that I did test out in that other video from three months ago. And it's a very nice palette. As you can see, there are, you know, four different depths and also undertones, which I really appreciate. But for me, with my skin tone being as pasty as it is, um, I like to mix these top two right here and just go in very lightly and kind of buff them in together on my duo fiber brush. If memory serves, I think this palette was like 10 bucks and I was just really impressed. Like consistency, texture, all of that's really good. And I don't have an issue with it being like patchy or anything like that. All right, so next up, we're gonna talk about blush from Essence, which I do have a new one to test out, but I just wanna give like my little PSA, okay? My little gift from me to you. If you have not checked out the blush from Essence, the one that's in this little round container and they look like this. This one is in the shade 40 Beloved or Beloved. And they also have another one called Befitting, which is my favorite. But these little round blushes, okay, they retail for like $2.99. They are absolutely fantastic. Because everything that you get out of these from color, tone, texture, wear, all of it, it is fan-freaking-tastic. And again, for the price point, you can't go wrong. So just, I wanted to point these out. Again, highly, highly recommend them. I've loved them. I've talked about them for a long time. But anyways, going into the blush we're testing for today here, we have their blush lighter and this is a gradient powder blush which as you can tell it's more of like a coral shade and th this is actually in the shade 02 coral sunset I know a big surprise given that it's coral but uh, it says here that this is a soft blush with an exceptional gradient color and it has two different finishes one shimmery which is the lighter side over here and one that is a semi matte color the shades can either be applied individually or can be combined for a more radiant finish I'm gonna go in today with a little morphe brush here this is just the Y4 and I'm grabbing primarily the matte side but just you know dabbling a little bit into the center I'm gonna take and just pop that ever so gently kind of right down here and then pull it back can you wait hello <laughs> like you, wait hold on can anybody even see this hello hello like is this thing on let me grab a little bit more all right you guys so I'm back it's been roughly 700 little dips back into the pan since my last confession and I have several several little things to mention in terms of the actual color once I have it nice and built up I actually really really like this I think the tone works it's not just like like some weird straight orange kind of coral it has this beautiful light pink undertone to it and it's ever so subtle but it's there and it is gorgeous so I really do like the color and I also really really like the way that it looks on my cheeks like on both sides it has the most flattering smoothing effect and I'm really impressed with that because this has that like kind of duo you know shimmery finish situation and it easily could have been the type of blush that just went way too far to one side it was super like overbearing and shimmery and just like not good like kind of a highlighty blush and those are not my thing and also really quickly since how I think at this point we're right at like the halfway mark ish I'm gonna switch out the uh, the lip balm that I had on from before and we're gonna go in with the other one. This is that Fruit Kiss Caring Lip Balm. This actually does feel really nice. Very silky very soft. Okay. I like it. I like it. I love that every single time I test something out, I'm like, mm-hmm, okay, mm-hmm, okay. <laughs> like, I have to, I have to, like, tell myself things are good. Like, it's okay, Paige. Go to the next step. It's all good. Like, keep moving. Keep doing it. It's all good. Okay. All right. Now, for brows really quickly, I'm just going in with my Benefit uh, Precisely My Brow. This is in 3.5. And then I'm also going to go over top of that with my Gimme Brow and just get the brows done really quickly because I don't have anything new from Essence. And truthfully, I, I very much so remember from my last Essence video, I did try out their brow pencil. It was like a pomade pencil. <laughs> Absolutely not. No, thank you. Never again. That thing was hot fire shit trash garbage and oh my god, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. So I'm not going to be using it for today's video. I'm going to use this and I'll be right back. All right, so with brows done, it's time to get into eyeshadow and you guys, this palette, I just think like the packaging and the presentation alone is a 10 out of 10 for me and this is their witch side palette. 
Like, is that not just gorgeous? And obviously it's a play on words, you know, which side do you prefer? Are you more neutral? Are you more like super sultry, sexy, glamorous? And then of course you have like that other, you know, side to the play on words where it's more like the get me my cauldron, my broomstick, my wand type situation. Cause I'm about ready to go. I gotta go to Diagon Alley. I gotta fuck some bitches up. I got, I got some people to curse, okay? And I can't have time for you in my way. But one thing that I really appreciated with this palette, especially based on the color story and how it's represented on the front is that they did tie in and have a beautiful blend of you know, much lighter, like fluffy, um, day to day kind of eye looks. But then they also balanced it with these really beautiful, like deep tone shades over here. And I really appreciate that aesthetic balance. I think it's a really nice thing to note. I was really intrigued by these little marble swatches. Wow. Those ones are very crumbly. So I'm not sure how they're going to apply in terms of, you know, to my actual lid, but just in terms of the actual payoff, I do think that they're very beautiful. The lighter two shades in the palette are kind of problematic. Those are definitely the more chunky of the four, but I think this one's my favorite. It's the shade Shadowy, and it has just a beautiful kind of light pink moment going on. It's really pretty. All right, you guys, so as weird as it might look, I went ahead and um, <laughs> I swatched the rest of the palette right here on the palm of my hand, and I have to say, I, and by the way, I don't know what made this make sense, but evidently it, it, it just did. Like, I don't know what happened, but all up in my brain, it made perfect sense to just like, yeah, fit them in there, just like Tetris, ping, 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 until you can't fit any more swatches. And honestly, I'm not even upset about it because I feel like these colors, like put in there, the way that they are. This color story looks so beautiful. Like the the, the mattes and the way that they complement the shimmer and like the, the shades that are a little bit more fun. Obviously these shades are without the uh, the first ones that I swatched, those marble colors. But I feel like even on its own, like these shades are really nice. Again, more neutral, but still very beautiful and they have a nice amount of pigmentation. I do think a couple of them are a little bit um, off in the consistency. Like they're not all exactly the same. But overall, I'm not upset about it. Like I think that they all swatched really beautiful and the payoff was definitely there. Before we get into the palette really quickly, I'm just gonna throw a little concealer on my lids here. This is just that same um, Clinique concealer. And the first thing I'm gonna do here is grab the shade Ritual. This is just a fluffy Morphe R35. And I'm gonna take and run that very, very light toned, almost like a white light toned pink type shade. And I'm gonna throw that all the way through the crease just to lightly kind of set everything down. It's no secret around here, you guys know, especially if you've been here for a while, I do prefer to stay on more like the the lighter kind of like more natural type side of things. And I think I'm gonna actually go in first with the shade Charm, which is just a really beautiful light purple. And I'm gonna take that on the outer V here and just start kind of working it all the way through the crease. Because I did go through and um, already set down the entire lid with that lighter shade, it's really gonna help me keep this purple more of like a diffuse shade. It won't be too intense or like too rich in pigment. Just to give me a very subtle, like teeny tiny amount of depth, I'm I'm gonna go into the shade Magic right here and I'm taking that on the same brush. I'm just gonna pop that onto the outer V right here and really work it up into like that outer socket just to make sure we have a light amount of definition but it doesn't have to be anything like super sultry because you know again that's just not really who I am these days. All right so right here I'm gonna stop with the mattes and I'm gonna go in with this shade which is uh, power right here it's that first little marble and I'm not gonna take it with any glitter glue or anything I'm just gonna lightly kind of feather and tap it on with just my finger because I really want to get a feel for the texture and the fallout with this shade without a glitter glue because it did have, oh wow, that's beautiful. Um, but it did have that kind of like chunky consistency to it. Oh my God, yes, please guys. I just popped that on the inner eye. Like how beautiful is that? Oh, I love that so much. And I'm just taking a little bit of that shade Magic on the lower lash line, just to give me a little bit more definition, just to kind of help lift the eye. All right, so at this point, the eyes are done. Obviously I went ahead and zoomed the camera out and we're gonna go ahead and test out this new high beauty mattifying makeup fixing spray. And let's go ahead first, Give it a little spritz here. Oh, wow, it has kind of a, a wide spray to it, okay. All right, so a couple of things to mention with that spray. Number one, um, it does have a little bit of a smell to it, like a little bit of fragrance, but it's nothing overbearing, very similar to like the hydrating primer. It has kind of that natural hemp type smell, uh, but it is something I noticed, so I wanted to mention it. And then in terms of the actual spray itself, just something I wanna mention, um, the spray itself is a little bit more aggressive. It has a lot more of that like blah, blah kind of consistency, which I know, what a good descriptor. I'm, I'm very good with my onomatopoeias. Now, I don't think that this necessarily makes the 
spray bad, but it is something that I think needs to be mentioned because if you are someone that you prefer like a close range spray, you know, keeping it like right in this range, you will not like this. It'll really leave you with a lot of those little like droplets all over your skin. What I noticed with this is that if you do pull it back a little bit and then you spray, you're left with a lot more of like a smooth canvas type situation and it worked just fine for me, but something I wanted to mention just so you don't end up with those little um, droplets all over your skin because those are super irritating to get rid of. Now really quickly, I'm just going to go in and brighten up my under eyes here with a little bit of the Essence Brighten Up Powder. Um, this is a fantastic, fantastic under eye brightener if you're looking for one that's more affordable. And then from there to go in with highlight, I'm going to go in with their Pure Nude Highlighter Palette, which is also something that I had used back in that video from three months ago. And I'm going to go in with this lighter yellow tone shade right here. And I'm going to take that on just a little fluffy BH Cosmetics brush. And I'm just ever so gently going to apply it to the top of the cheekbone. Oh, yes, honey. Um, look at how beautiful that shade is. Like, come on. That is such a beautiful tone. Now, in terms of the update on this palette, obviously, I've been using it for quite some time, and I do really enjoy this one shade. In terms of the other three shades in here, they're just really not something I get a lot of use out of. Um, this one right here is more of a light lavender purple. I don't really reach for that. This one is a little bit too yellow for my skin tone, and this one is a little bit too deep for my skin tone. So, I haven't really been able to use those ones as all over highlights, but I have been able to use them like all over the lid as just, you know, kind of like this moment right here, just a beautiful brightening opening kind of moment. And they do look really, really beautiful for that. All right. So now from there, it's time to go into mascara. I already went ahead and curled up my lashes and we're going to test out the Essence High Beauty Vegan Volume Mascara. And it says that this is made with organic hemp seed oil and sunflower wax, and it's good for conditioning and strengthening your lashes. All right, so I just got done with this mascara, I went in with my standard like two to three ish coats. And I think my issue with this is that it, it specs out as a volume mascara. And if anything, I would say this gives me more length than anything. And it's not that it's bad necessarily. I would say it's like a, you know, medium, maybe five, six, seven out of 10, somewhere in that range. There's quite the sliding scale in there because it really depends on what you're looking for. But I would say in terms of drugstore mascaras, it's not bad. Again, I know it's, it's, it's fairly inexpensive. I think these are like three, four, five ish dollars right in there. And I think it's okay. Um, I would say that this mascara is for somebody that wants a light amount of volume with decent length. Like it's a pretty good in-between mascara. All right, you guys, last but not least, we have a lipstick here. This is their Stay 8-Hour Matte Liquid Lipstick. And I have this in the shade 07 Let's Chill. And it looks like it's just a beautiful, oh wow, oh, wow, that's a lot brighter than I thought. Okay. Um, I kind of thought this was going to be more of like a light kind of mauve pink to match my eyes. I, you know, um, let's try. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be a little bit more pink than I wanted, but I think I can make this work. And all right, you guys, with that, the full face is on and complete. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up the up close. That way we can see, you know, everything together, kind of round out our final thoughts. And I think overall, you know, complexion, eyes, everything really did come together very nicely for this look. And truthfully, I'm actually impressed that the complexion looks as nice and as smooth as it does, especially over my cheek, like in the highlight region, it looks absolutely beautiful, especially, I mean, just from what I'm seeing in the monitor, it does look very nice. But I think my main concern with everything Thing. You know, if, if I just kind of take it apart piece by piece, my main concern I keep going back to is the foundation. And I don't think, just based on everything I'm seeing, you know, the texture, consistency, all of those little facets of it, I don't think that this is a foundation that's going to be super long wearing. Don't get me wrong, this could just be one of those foundations where, you know, maybe it needs like that perfect combination of concealer and powder and primer and just for everything to really press together to kind of give it, you know, the backbone and the stability that it needs to really last on the skin. But again, in terms of how everything came together. I'm not upset with it. I think it looks good. And at this point, I've been wearing the foundation for probably three-ish hours, three or four hours. I've been I've been filming for quite a while. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty impressed just overall with the, the look it has on the skin and kind of this lightweight feel that I have between that, the blush, and the highlight. I just feel like the three together really frame in the face beautifully and give it kind of like a lighter, lilty vibe. And I, I don't know, I'm just really living for it. Like, there's, there's a combination here that I really do like. And honestly, you guys, from there, I don't have anything else 
to mention. Nothing else really sticks out because I tried to do it as I went through the video from, you know, product to product. Be sure to let me know all of your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments, whether it is on Essence, these videos, if you like them, um, if you'd like to see more, if there's something that you're curious about, let me know again everything down in the comments. And of course, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, don't forget to subscribe before you leave, turn on your post notifications, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, but mainly Instagram. And you guys, that is it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Are you kidding me? There went that mirror. <laughs> it lasted about three weeks before, before it broke. <laughs> I don't think mirrors can be trusted around me. Truthfully, you know what? I just, I do not have to get, what was that? What was that octave I just hit? Can only dogs hear that? Ooh, what was that? What was that there, ma'am? Anyways, the Mr. Sun, Sun, and Mr. Golden Sun. Oh, fuck, 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 found him. <laughs> Mr. Golden Sun is really fucking golden today.